Yo, what is going on guys? Sub here, and today we're playing Kona. Now, Kona just came out like a couple days ago on Xbox. It's been out for a while. What it is is like a Canadian simulator. I think, I think it's Canadian simulator about a detective back in like 1990s or 1980s. Anyway, I don't know the whole story, but uh, I'm gonna make a series on this game. So, hope you guys like it. Nineteen seventy. William Hamilton, a rich industrialist, had gotten in touch with him regarding a simple vandalism issue. Nothing to write home about. Not worth hiring a private eye either, just so he can drive for hours on rough roads. But that's how it had always been. The client pays, Carl gets it done. Oh, that's cool, he puts his arm back as he... Am I driving now? Oh, I'm driving. Sensitivity is kind of high. Well, actually the entire village had William Hamilton's name written all over. That was it, like, take a bottle. The frames are all right, like, there's a lot going on. I'm just to cut the gate, some fire starters. Definitely gonna need those. But yeah, I'm gonna make this into a series, so. Hamilton never mentioned a road blocking barrier. Why was it needed here in the back of beyond? That would, however, be a mystery for another day. Carl had waited long enough for someone to come and raise it. There's probably something in there. Still not a soul in sight. There was no point in waiting any longer. Carl had to figure this one out by himself. Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. It was time for him to get down to business. Okay, so we can sprint too. So it sounds like we gotta go to a general store? That's what it sounds like. I'd say I'm a pretty good driver. few hours later. Carl needed to get out of there. The cold and the pain required urgent care. My truck. The driver had taken off. It was still best to check it out and leave nothing to chat. Carl needed help. It was a small block box engraved with the letters WH. Carl thought about taking it. It was to be left to chance. Oh, so eight sprint too. I right, turned the gamma down a little bit. It looks better. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. This deep in the country, his last hope was to find an abandoned garage or a farm by the roadside. 
his life depended on him. It was so cold. Already, Carl did not feel his toes anymore. Oh, this way. What? I thought that was a barrier. Wow, I cannot see a thing. So, we need some wood. Let's grab some wood real quick. Surely something in there could be useful. We're gonna grab a few. Okay, no matter. We're gonna grab like 90. Let's start a fire. Okay, so we're starting to heat up. Which is good. Even better than he had hoped. Chains. Carl Colbert had succeeded once more and was now on his way to new adventures. Since got a positive outlook on everything. Okay, so I'm not sure what to do next. Guess I'll just kind of. Can I take this? No. The game looks pretty good. All right, so there's nothing up here. Now we know that. My okay, bumpers jump. My button. I can hear my truck. I think that's what that is. It's gotta be. This here runs out of breath quick. Carl is it in bad shape. He needs to heal his wounds and warm up his body before going any further. Alright. Put the chains on the truck, but. Is there something in the trunk of this thing? Oh my gosh, there was. Must be something in the car or something, because I'm pretty sure I got a thing. Yep. No. I can't see a thing, dude. Spread out on a few acres of untouched forest, bellowing caribou, everlasting snow, and undefiled lakes. The Manistan region was no tourist home. It was said to have been populated for millennia by Cleveland, and ever since the industrial era by the Manistan. There's a truck coming Made it. Okay, so let's fill it up. Let's fill it up. Pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. So there is fresh. Had to drive by every week to fill. I must be full. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. Something fell to the bottom of the box. I didn't even notice that. Carl had no trouble recognizing his employer. He had been killed. There was no need to be a detective to figure that out. But only a detective could have noticed that the killer had to have been very close. That the fatal blow had been given before the victim even realized. Carl felt a chill down his spine and had a terrifying realization. If Hamilton was dead, then who was going to pay him? Montreal. Let's see if there's anything in the cash register. An explosion suddenly occurred outside. What the hell is this? 
Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if it's an ice, ice came out of the ground? That was a first. Whoa, it picks up the... Do you? Yeah, there is a chair. That scared the hell out of me. Carl recalled something from his military training. Holy... Always... Scared the living hell out of me. That scared me so bad, dude. That will I didn't I was looking at the ground, I was looking at the picture. It just comes out. Okay, we need a key for the oh. Electricity turned off. Oh. Okay. Turn on, okay. Garage. On. The note explained that the garage and the store couldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. Okay. Okay, so we want the garage off then, because it can't be supplied at the same time. I wonder why the stuff like that closes this. Power's off. Clearly. Nothing in there. Duct tape. And... I don't remember what else we just got. A note. According to that log, it seemed like the whole village Credit. owed some money to the general store. Carl was Jeez. far more interested in the bunch of nearby addresses he had just gotten his hands Keys. On. Sweet. These ones and moss open cash is sure. Um I think we just click sale. Should open. Twelve dollars. Sale. Boom. Knew it. Okay. The snowstorm pummeled everything in its path. Oh. Okay, so we turned on the pump. The oh, crowbar. Stuck under the lift. Oh, okay. Notwithstanding Carl's imposing stature, car lifting wasn't part of his skill set yet. Oh. I'm a dummy. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay, so we got power on in here, which is cool. But we need power. Okay, let's fill up our truck real quick. The pumps wouldn't surrender their divine nectar so easily. In all likelihood, they had to be switched on from inside the store. They are switched on. Oh wait, I turned on pump two, didn't I? This is pump two. Wait, what? No. Okay, so apparently we didn't. The murder weapon. What was Zach doing there? Mini key. Hamilton must have been determined to keep some information secret to post this key. Shame he got unlucky. Everything made sense now. Poor Hamilton's denunciation was interrupted, and he figured it would be best to lock everything up and send the key to his correspondent, who would receive the box later on. Clever, but not enough. That's oh, okay. Now I have it on. Now, any good investigation would have to start there. Feel up gas can. There's probably a gas can sitting in the garage. My guess. So. Okay, so that's to this store. Flip that off and flip the garage on. So the power should be going to the garage now. Yep. Alright, let's lift that lift and get that. Crowbar out. At Sweet. Last, the crowbar was within Carl's grasp. Surely it would come in handy at some point. Smacking stuff. 
That's what I'm talking about. At least we know it's fragile. Okay, so did it put my, um... Wow. I can use the revolver. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, well, I think it's time to get out of here, finally. Alright, time to get out of here. Let's let it go. Let's let it go. I cannot see anything. Okay. I'm on the road, right? It was B to get out. I could have got out the whole time. Wow. Okay, clinic's key. Nothing there. I know there's a fire shutter under there, but my you know, I'm not traceful. There should be. My In spite of Dr. Beaupre's goodwill, the place didn't look much like a physician's office. It could easily be mistaken for a sewing shop. <laughs> Funny. Something in there. What is the this? The injured could be recognized by the large stains of red, an informal nickname given to Merbromen, smudged all over their injuries. The injured could be recognized oh, okay. by the large it's stains that. of red, an informal nickname. It's a lot of reading. Doctors used light reflecting frontal mirrors to look inside the patient's cavities. That was a bit unsettling. Pain really very nice. But back then, it was pretty much always the case with medicine. Dr. Bopre had done his medical studies quite far from here. He was surely one of the first students out of the new campus to settle on the mountainside. A communist manifesto. Only a few years ago, this type of allegiance meant prison time. And even at present, the Western world was very wary of the Soviet threat. Why would the doctor own such a book? There's so much reading in this game. Holy crap. A chamber pot. Fortunately for Carl, inspecting it wouldn't further this particular investigation. Med kit. Nice. Alright guys, that concludes it for part one. Stay tuned for part two. And I'll see you guys in the next one. But a cheese! We want them keys! Everybody freeze! On your knees! But naked! Before any of you guppies get hot, nigga, rewind my part, fool, and bow, bow down. down when I come to your town. Bow down when I'm west with brass. Bow down, cause I ain't a hater like you. Bow down to a nigga that's greater than you.